Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. And today's recipe is near and dear to my heart. It is something I grew up with. And what we're gonna be making today are clam cakes. Some people will call them clam fritters. They're clam cakes. It is a childhood trip that we would take usually once a year. Um, sometimes we get to go twice a year because our school would take us to Rocky Point, which is in Rhode Island. It was an um, old amusement park that would probably give you tetanus, but they had this restaurant, which I still be I believe is still there. I haven't been there in probably 30 plus years. If, yeah, probably 35 years. People tell me that the restaurant's still there. It's a, just a big barn that you go into, you sit down at picnic tables, and they just bring out clam cakes, watermelon, and corn on the cob and you just eat and that is it's a childhood thing for me so when people say fritter or bull you know oh lobster fritter clam fritter boy it's not it's a it's a clam cake but it's something that you have when you grow up in new england in particular rhode island so today we're gonna make it because again it's near and dear to my heart really really simple it's flour baking powder clam juice an egg and some chopped fresh clams we're gonna mix it together and drop it in the fryer we're gonna fry them off hit them with a little salt when they come out a lemon aioli, which we're gonna make, just garlic, lemon juice, lemon, mayo, and that's it, that's all it is. Some people will serve them with tartar sauce, some people will serve them with cocktail sauce. I like lemon aioli because we need that little bit of acid to cut through all the fat. Tartar sauce has it, but then you get the sweet from the pickle and a bunch of other things. So for me, I like lemon aioli. First off, flour, salt, and baking powder. I am lacking on the utensils today, so. In here, our egg. And then our clam juice. You can buy clam juice pretty much any grocery store. We're using a fresh frozen clam. You can shuck your own clams if you want to. I wasn't about to go through all that. Seafood stores usually will have frozen clams that you can use. Luckily for me, Safeway has frozen clams. So we're gonna add about half the bottle of clam juice. And we want it to develop a batter. And it should be sticky. Now normally, we may with this, with these clams, get a little of the juice from the clams, because we're gonna add about half this. And you see you get that liquid from the clams. My wife's probably like, Ugh. But she's watching this video go, nope, nope, can't do it. Get in there and it should be, like you notice it's a little clumpy, which is kind of what we want because it is a fritter. So we want a dough. We don't want something that is uber runny. So we're gonna switch it to a spoon. We're just gonna get in there. A little more juice. Let's get our hands dirty, right? That's what you do with clams. Oh, I can't. Definitely don't want that. YouTube's gonna be like, congratulations, you made all the necessary requirements to hit partner. And we just watched your clam cake video and we are not going to allow you to be a partner. Let's give it a little test. Always make sure your fryer is hot enough. You want about 350 degrees and we wanna give it a test. We wanna try it, make sure the consistency is right. I'm gonna throw a clam. And I can guarantee you, next time she yawns, it's gonna go right in there. <laughs> no? What? Once it's cooked. Once it's cooked. Give our oil a little test. It is good. So let's give our little clam cake a test. Clam cakes are not meant to be perfectly symmetrical. They are not supposed to be this beautiful round ball. They're supposed to have dips and ridges and all of this. That's what they're supposed to be. They're supposed to balloon up as you can see. Looks wonderful. We'll let it go. While that is going, we're gonna now have to wash that. Uh, it's my life in pictures. Alexa? Oh. Notifications? One notification from Amazon. 
Amazon shopping. Pasta maker machine has arrived. By the way, you can thank the driver of your most recent delivery, and he'll share your appreciation with you. Just say, thank my driver. So, to make the aioli, some mayonnaise, our little tester clam cake is almost done. Some garlic, and I like a lot of garlic in mine. Um, if you don't like a lot of garlic, don't use a lot of garlic. Please don't use powder, because that's terrible. Give a little lemon zest. No, my lemons are no longer in season. All right. A little lemon juice. Oh. oh, there, baby. A little salty salt salt. A little pepper. A little salt. A little mix. And we have our lemon aioli. So what we want to check for is to make sure it's not raw on the inside. It is not. It's nice and cooked. Mm. 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 All right, let's fry some. We done? Yeah. No? Jay's like putting down the camera. I just want to eat. I'm gonna fry some clams. Get off my finger. It's biting me. That wouldn't that be get on my finger? <laughs> I'm like so happy right now frying these. Like it's. Oh, nope, don't say it. I was going to, nope. That's like beautiful, isn't it, Jay? That's beautiful, don't you think? I mean, honestly. You're white. You're white. <laughs> the one person who doesn't like fried clams. My kid doesn't, I don't think my kid likes fried clams either. I tried to get her to eat sushi, she said no. She tried, I bless her heart, she tried. Not the bless your heart in a southern kind of way, you know. Did she eat the right stuff though? Because my mom says she likes sushi, but she doesn't really like, she likes like just the cooked. That's not sushi though. The raw stuff. Like sushi is raw. Like I think we I think we sushi tried to eat. Just rice. Sushi is actually the rice. Okay. And then everything else, else is it. Okay. Is, that's why they call it sashimi. It's just the uh, what you call it. But, just the fish. Yeah, but sushi itself is just, just the, rice. The way that the rice is made. Okay. See, even as a chef, I learned things. Yeah. So that's why it's like you can have raw sushi or cooked sushi. Yeah. But most people, uh, when they look at sushi, they think it's very strong. Correct. Which is the way I think. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think we had, I think we tried, I think it was a California roll, mm -hmm. but it was a California roll that was made with real crab, not crab with a K, not imitation. And she didn't like it. And even she was like, oh, it doesn't taste the same, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, because you're having real crab. You're not having Pollock. I was a place in Florida. Uh, okay. Not again, Reno. it's not. <laughs> no, it wasn't Reno. Yeah. But then again, it wasn't LA either. Like, yeah. you know, as we were talking earlier, LA has the best sushi. I think if she tried it here, though, with all the different like mm -hmm. flavors and styles that they make it. She it might like it. Because my, as I said, like, my mom doesn't like the raw sushi, but yeah. the other stuff I order her, she likes should we make it fancy let's make it fancy let's make it fancy quick easy recipe you can do um, especially if you're from New England and you don't live there anymore you can get your clams make this fry them off again they're supposed to have peaks valleys they're supposed to have character they're not supposed to be this perfect meatball looking thing um, they're supposed to be character open them up and they should be nice cakey beautiful on the inside and we eat because I wanted these.
So if you like this recipe, if you like me, even if you don't like me, help my brother out. Um, hit the notify, subscribe, like. There's one other, I can never get right, but I will see you guys next time. Much love, enjoy.